Good freaking morning. Good freaking morning to you too. Boy, do I have something to say. Great, let's hear it. Don't fucking come with me on your Trojan horse, okay? I think the phrase is high horse. Don't come at me on your high horse. Sometimes um, some people on their dieting journey, you don't get to have balance. First impression, I disagree. Effective weight loss journeys need to be balanced in order to be sustainable. And it needs to be fucking said because everybody's like, balance, balance for a healthy lifestyle. Anybody who watches my videos definitely says that. Yes, you can have balance. Yes, you can. Once you have reached your goal. Ah, oh, man, if you'd stopped right there, you'd have been right. But balance isn't something you earn. It's something you use. I do not think everybody deserves a cheat meal. Cheat meal for lack of a better word because I fucking hate cheat meals. I also fucking hate the idea of cheat meals, but that's kind of the opposite of what balance is. A balanced diet means that you can include the occasional indulgent food into a largely nutritious diet without the guilt or shame that usually comes from cheating. But sometimes you don't get to have balance and you need to do the hard thing. You need to stick to your meal plan till the very end. This all or nothing type of mindset is not as helpful as you think it is. What you're actually doing is setting people up to fail by convincing them that if they slip up, even once, they weren't good enough. How do you think the majority of people who struggle with their weight deal with feelings like that, hmm? You've taken the easy way out your entire life and that's why we're here right now, babe. That's why we're dieting right now, right? Because you've done the easy thing, you've sat on the couch and you chose food over working out, right? It's the internalized fat phobia for me. This archaic stereotype that fat people are all just lazy or take the easy way out is tired and inaccurate. You have no idea how hard other people work to lose weight. This tough love act that you're putting on, damaging. You chose to have cookies instead of eating veggies, right? You can eat both of those things, which brings us back to balance. So now I'm asking you to do the hard thing. But your advice is making the hard thing harder. I'm asking you to stick to your meal plan, stick to your macros, stick to your goals. Look, we don't disagree here. Stick to your macros, stick to your goals, but our methods to get to that goal, drastically different. You expect people to sacrifice everything they enjoy, but my method is much more flexible and realistic and sustainable for the long term. Once you've done the hard work, then you can practice the balanced dieting we preach about. You really didn't listen to a word I said, did you? Balance isn't just the destination, it's the entire journey.